This is Scott with Learn to Stop Hunger, and today we're going to take a look at how to add a simple intro to a video with Adobe Premiere Elements. The first thing you want to do is to find uh, a background video for your intro. So what I would recommend is to go to your favorite search engine and search for free background videos. You can also find commercial ones out there that may even be nicer um, if you have money available to do that. But if you don't, the free videos are a good place to start. I've had good luck so far with Vidivo.net, so I'm going to go ahead and go to that site. And then uh, once the site is loaded up, we've got a choice of a lot of different options here. and. Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at a list of a number of popular videos that they have here. We'll check, uh, let's see, let's check this one out here. That looks like a nice one. And you can actually preview what the video is going to look like by hitting the play button there. and it may take a minute to load here. Let's see. There we go. You get an idea of what that looks like. I, I like that one, so I'm going to go ahead and download it. Um, all you have to do to download is Share the item on uh, one of your social networks. Accept the terms and conditions. So you got to click the checkbox there. And then go ahead and download the clip. And this does require a user account. So you're going to go ahead and enter your user information here. After you've entered your user information and your download is, your download will kick off. Um, you can see down here I'm downloading this uh, file right now. And uh, while we're doing that, the next thing that you want to do is to uh, go ahead and look for some background music. So go back to your search engine. and I would recommend that you search for free background music alright and then uh, I've looked at a few of these and it looked like a good option was this free production music by Jason Shaw at audionautics.com so go ahead and click on that and then uh, this website will let you pick a few parameters regarding the music that you want so let's say that I want my intro to be techno and I want it to have a fast tempo and then you can choose a mood if you want we'll say bright for my mood and then hit find music and we've got an option here we can listen to it so we'll listen sounds pretty decent so what we want to do then is do the download mp3 actually let me take a step back here with this browser at least I'm gonna have to do save link as and then um, find a place to save it I'll save it under my music we'll go ahead and do save and it is already saved and my my background video also now is saved. So we've got both of those pieces downloaded. Now, the next thing that we're going to want to do is to open up Adobe Premiere Elements. And <clears throat> I happen to be using Premiere Elements 11. What I'm going to do is I click on Video Editor, and then I'm going to want a new project. Um, 
Yeah, I'll go ahead and click New Project. And it's going to take a minute here for it to load. Let's see. Go ahead and resize my window here. All right, we're going to go ahead and add our background video here. And uh, I did actually have to end up downloading a different one because I had problems with the first one. We're going to go with this Disco Lights background video. You can see it's added. And now uh, the next thing we want to do is add our main video, which uh, it's actually a video of drawing a smiley face. Let's see if we can find it here. Smiley face, right there. All right, so we've got that. Now. The next thing that we want to do is to add some text to our introduction. Let's see, we'll go with default text. And we need to drag it up here on the top. We can just replace our text here. I'm going to go with how to draw a smiley face. Okay, and we will probably want to do a line break there, and we can align horizontally and then vertically to make that centered. So I'm pretty pleased with that, and let's see, the next thing I'll do is come down here, and you can actually, I'm going to go ahead and widen out the amount of time that my text appears, and the other thing that I'm going to do is, let's see, fade, I'm going to do fade in and out, to fade the text in and out. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is add our background music. So we will go ahead and look for that. I believe I've got that in the music library, the skateboard MP3. And I want to move that. I'm going to have it coincide with just my intro. You could have it coincide with your whole video, but I'll do the intro up to the beginning of that video, and then I'm going to right click and do fade, and do a fade out for my music, so it'll transition into the sound of the, the video then. And then the uh, last thing that I want to do is to add a transition. Oops, I hit the wrong thing. Go to transitions here. And we'll try to we'll do barn doors. I'm gonna add that between our video clips. Between the clips, one second, that looks good. We'll say done. And now I am pretty pleased. I'm gonna go ahead and save my project. And then I'm gonna do a publish and share. I'm going to save this out to the computer. And it happens that this is one that I want to post on YouTube, so a lot of times I've been using YouTube widescreen HD because that actually matches with my resolution of my main video. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I will call this Smiley Tutorial. All right. 
right and we'll go ahead and hit save and at that point it's going to go ahead and render the whole video and that takes a little bit of time um, I'm sure it probably depends on the the speed of your or I should say the power of your computer which I mean my computer is not the beefiest so if you've got something that's a bit more powerful it'll probably blow through the rendering a lot faster alright so now we have the saving of the video complete and I've opened it up with VLC media player we're gonna go ahead and play it here And as you can see, um, it did go ahead and add that intro to the front of the video with our background music and the fading in and fading out of the text. And additionally, the, the transition from the intro video to the main video. So that is an overview of how to add a very simple intro to your video using Adobe Premiere Elements. And hopefully you'll find that to be useful.